Yeah. You still have that house? Like, uh, we got rid of it. Yeah, we sold that house. I sold I sold that house when I came out to do Law and Order. I actually had one of my boys living in it named Junior. And I would call back to LA, I'd be like, how's the crib? And he'd be, I hear people in the pool laughing, and then he'd be like, hold on, I hear girls laughing, and I'm like, hold on, yeah. and I call in my house, what are you talking about? I hear people, I'm like, that shit's for sale, yeah. you know, so I didn't sell it right out because I didn't know how long I would be on Law & Order. I've been on Law & Order now 13 years, so I sold that crib, um, right now we own property in Miami, Arizona, and New York, but uh, that was a fly house back in the day, in the MTV crib days, yeah. with the brains blown out. Yeah. After, after you showed it off, did you regret it? Did you feel like it was like an invasion of your personal thing? Or was it just... I mean, I think back then it was cool because rappers were just starting to do good. Yeah. And I was trying to show people that it was success. Now I think people are throwing money in people's face and it's getting a little carried away. You know, especially... Especially like, especially in hip hop, you know, it's getting kind of pushed. People that are pushing it really don't have money. You know, they showing you a bunch of shoes because that's all they got is a bunch of shoes. You know, look at my shoe collection. That's it. You know, they like, oh look, I got a belt. Look at my new belt. I'm flossing on you. I got fifteen hundred. You know, like. So, I think at some point you kind of like want to kind of pull back from that a little bit. I think it's very tacky when you throw money in the face of people that don't have it. They just, yeah. you know, like even on, I think it's like, if it's, it's, if it's a matter of fact thing. I like, you look a nice little smoker, right? You got a nice little condo. I got some cars. But I work for that. But it ain't like I'm on TV. Look at my shit. I got a car. You ain't got a car. You ain't seeing this, son. You know, when you start to boast on it and push it, it kind of gets kind of. It ain't my style. Okay. You know, if I got a nice watch, I just happen to have a nice watch on now. I don't need to put it in the camera and tell you why you can't afford it. You know what I'm saying? It gets kind of corny to me. Okay. That's just my opinion. When you were doing like New Jack City, like how was that? I was nervous as hell because I just put out my biggest album, Original Gangster. They wanted me to be a cop. If the movie flopped, I might flop my music career. But this was an opportunity that you don't turn down, a chance to star in a movie. So I just applied myself. I think the key is, you come from a background with no opportunities. You come from the hood like me. When you get an opportunity, if you don't take advantage of that opportunity, then you're a sucker and you need to just shut up. So in other words, you're bitching, but now you get the chance and you, and you don't apply yourself. So stop bitching, because <laughs> you're getting a chance. So now, these opportunities make themselves available. I know what my other options are. I don't want to do that. I don't want to end up in prison. So now you give me a chance, I'm going to I'm gonna bust my ass. So by the time I did New Jack City, I didn't even know my lines. I knew everybody's lines in the script. Wow. I could, I could say the whole script, everybody, mm -hmm. because I had that chance. So I'm one of them cats that if you give me a chance, like if you told me you wanted me to be a photographer, I know how to take that camera apart. I know every fucking thing about it. You know, you gotta be like that. You can't just half-ass do shit if you wanna be successful. You gotta, you're gonna get what you put into it. <laughs> you're gonna get what you put into it. If, if, if you want an all right life, then you use all right effort. If you want a, a greater life, you need a greater life. If you want an exceptional life, you need an exceptional effort. Unless your father had exceptional effort and he just gives you the money.